Hi, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel and thank you for watching again. If you like this, please subscribe my channel and hit the like button. All right, so let's jump into our next product, which is I'm going to be talking about this product from Avida, which is basically a, you know, a finishing gloss that you apply on your hair after you blow dry or maybe when it's a little damp. Um, I got this product about a year and a half back and uh, just a brief uh, history in terms of how I, how I got it. So I went to a salon for a hair treatment. I was getting my rebonding done and the hairstylist basically, you know, after blow drying my hair, applied this and I immediately noticed a very shiny effect on my hair and I, I really liked it. So that's when I asked him if I could just buy it from the store. So it was very, very impromptu that I immediately liked it the moment he applied it and I asked him if I could get it. Um, so long story short, I'm going to quickly share what I've been uh, feeling on my hair after applying this product. So first and foremost is um, I'm going to show you the consistency. So if you see, so one pump, this is a quantity that you would get. And if I kind of just rub it, you're able to see that it is already quite shiny. Um, now, if I rub it, you will see that, you know, it, it's not very heavy. It's quite light. But one thing that I've noticed is that you have to be very careful in how much quantity you're applying. So usually if I take a pump and I apply this on, on the ends of my hair, it really makes my hair kind of oily so what i have to do is you know after i rub it i kind of just maybe rub my rub it on rest of my arms and the remaining if i'm comfortable that's when i really use the hair and i just kind of squeeze it in to kind of make sure that you know all of the serum is naturally uh, going to my hair and the quantity needs to be little i've noticed this in multiple occasions so my recommendation is that you really have to be careful in terms of uh, the quantity if you have a frizzy hair if you have a dry hair this is something that i would definitely definitely recommend um and i mean if you have oily hair possibly something that you do not need it uh, even with the frizzy hair that I have, I noticed that it can get very oily if, if, again, I'm not taking care of the quantity. So even with one pump that you saw, it can make my hair oily. So be careful, guys, in terms of how much you're using. But again, um, it, it's a good product. It smells um, good. It, it's, again, not that, not that flowery. It kind of has a brand kind of a smell. But go for it. Um, and I don't think you'll regret it. But again, just be careful of um, the quantity. The texture is pretty light, as you can see, even on my hand right now. Um, and it, it doesn't really weigh down unless you're applying a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna give this product a four out of five. Thank you guys. Leave your comments below if you've used this product and you've had similar experiences or different experiences. 